Okay, let's take a look at this problem. This problem deals with uh, annealing of a steel plate. So a steel plate, which is initially at 200 degrees Celsius, is placed inside a hot furnace, which contains gases at 800 degrees Celsius. And this, these gases leads to a convective heat transfer coefficient of 250 watt per meter square per Celsius. And we are asked to find the duration that, that we must keep this steel plate inside the furnace so that the minimum temperature of the steel plate is 550 degrees Celsius. So how are we going to solve this problem? So let's write down what we know. So what are the knowns in this problem? So we know L thickness, T initial, K, H, and T infinity. So what are we trying to find? We are trying to find time to reach 550 degrees Celsius in the in the slab and this is the minimum temperature so what does this mean so what is the minimum temperature if there is a variation in temperature which part of the, the slab will be coldest so this corresponds to actually the center this is the coldest part of the slab because it is initially at a lower temperature than the furnace so it is going to heat up from the sides that means the middle will be the coldest so we are trying to find the T for the middle to reach 550 degrees Celsius so what is next so what are our assumptions we'll assume it is 1D heat transfer only in X direction. We'll assume the properties are constant, constant properties, constant properties. We'll assume negligible, negligible radiation. And we can also list our properties here. So the properties, properties. So this is a steel slab, so we know the properties of steel, so we can look these up from our, from our textbook. So density is given, heat capacity is given, 550 joule kilogram per Kelvin, and thermal conductivity is given, 48 watt per meter per Kelvin. So now let's do the analysis. So let's do the analysis here. Analysis. So as usual, let's check if the BO number is going to be, uh, it's, if the BO number is going to give us a lump capacitance problem, H over LC, H times LC over K. So H is 250, that was given in the problem, what? per meter square per Kelvin. LC, LC here, uh, so we go back to geometry here. So we go back to geometry here. This is a symmetric problem. LC is the half, half thickness. So this means 100 millimeter divided by two. So that means LC is 50. So 100 is the full thickness. That means LC is 50, 50 times, uh, I'll say is uh, 50 times 10 to the minus 3 meter. K is 48 watt per meter per Kelvin. And if you do the simplification, you get 0 0.26. And you can see this is 0 0.1, greater than 0 0.1. That means lump capacitance method is not going to work here. So now, as a next step, so we will we will assume. So we need this means we need to try the special effects problems. 
the Fourier number, let's assume Fourier number is greater than 0 0.2. That is our first assumption. So if this we are going to check, need to check this. So if Fourier number is greater than 0.2 and we have a rectangular object, we already solved this problem and the solution was given to us. So we have here a Fourier number and if the Fourier number is greater than uh, 0.2 this was the solution. So we'll take this solution as given here. So let's say we'll, sub we'll, we'll take this as the fact here. So we'll write down the expression for um, theta star and we'll only have one term which is C1 exponential minus zeta 1 square F0 cosine zeta 1 times x star. And we are actually interested in temperature in the middle, uh, in the center. So that means x star is equal to 0. So that means theta star is C1 exponential minus zeta 1 square Fourier number. So that is the equation here. So now uh, our goal is to find the Fourier number. So if you rearrange this equation, this is t minus t infinity divided by ti minus t infinity multiplied by c1 multiplied by exponent zeta 1 square Fourier number. And this term is t star which tells us about the t. So the Fourier number is alpha t over L square. So that means if we write it down in terms of kcp, so we have t over L square. So now let's substitute everything here. So we want temperature to be 550. This is the time it takes for the minimum of the slab to reach 550. Ambient temperature is 800. Ti is 200. T infinity is 800. C1 <coughs> is unknown. We will look this up exponential minus zeta 1 square Fourier number. So if you carry out this algebra, you are going to get 0 0.417. Okay. So now, so 0 0.417. So we need to find uh, C1. Uh, we need to find C1 and zeta 1. And they will come from table 5.1. So the equation that we need to do, we need to, the BO number was 0 0.26. So now we need to find uh, x uh, zeta 1 and c1 from the table here. So we can either interpolate or just say it is close to 0 0.25. And we can just take these values. So zeta 1 is going to be really close to 0 0.48 and if you do interpolation this is what you get in radians. And c1 is going to be 1.04. So that means I have an equation 0 0.417. This is equal to c1. Zeta 1 is given. So that means I can calculate the Fourier number. 0 0.417 is equal to 1.04, this is C1, times exponential, exponential, uh, minus 0 0.488 square times the Fourier number. So if you rearrange this, the Fourier number, you, you can just solve this and you can get the Fourier number from here. So this is going to be 3.84 and this is greater than 0.2 so our initial assumption our initial assumption was okay so that means 
I have the solution. So the Fourier number is alpha times t over LC square. So the T is equal to Fourier number times LC square over alpha. And this is alpha is k over rho CP. So that means T is equal to 861 seconds.